Minister Adam Charlie, won't you come to the stage? Well, thank you so much. And uh, first and foremost, I want to bring greetings on behalf of uh, Premier Christy Clark and the Minister of Education, the Honorable George Abbott, who could not be here this evening. Uh, and for his uh, inability to be here, it's my good fortune uh, and that um, I'm honored because uh, Dave Obi spe uh, specifically sent me an email to invite me to be here and I'm pleased to be here because um, I know of the work that he has done in the past and with this uh, beautiful book that he has now recorded the history of libraries to our province I think will be a treasure that people can have going forward uh, for the next hundred years. It is an important milestone a hundred years of acknowledging the library service and I have to say my first encounter not only just having a library card when I turned six and in grade one because the teacher then trotted us down to the Greater Victoria Library uh, Center and had us fill out our little cards to make sure we all felt connected. Uh, years later, I actually, in high school, found time to be a library volunteer at Mount Doug High School, the school I graduated from. Learned everything I wanted to know about the Dewey Decimal System which when I talk to people now have no understanding of what I, I refer to. But I, I appreciate that uh, you mention it because it, it did remind me of that uh, encounter I had. Uh, I just want to say that uh, the appreciation I have with libraries now in the role that I have as a Minister for Community Sport and Cultural Development, I deal with local governments, that, that's part of my role. And local governments in all of our communities have a very keen interest in making sure that the quality of life of our citizens uh, extends to things like libraries, which is why you see many of the libraries now being attached to or built uh, as a part of our recreation centers, like Sandwich Commonwealth Pool, like the Juan de Fuca Center out in, uh, in the West Shore, and most recently the one at Perk Center, and which is one of the reasons why you know, all levels of government, federal, provincial, and municipal, put dollars towards upgrading those facilities because they are close to our neighborhoods, making it easier for accessibility. Uh, for people who still want to go to a physical place to find a book and touch and feel and smell, because not everybody still is comfortable with computers. So it is important that uh, we have a place where uh, library books uh, are maintained, archived, where history is gathered. It is important that people like Dave take the time to write a book and capture those moments of history, uh, not only for the languages we want to preserve, but also for the traditions uh, that we bring in our multicultural society. So this evening, I just want to commend all of you for coming out on a Thursday night to Dave's launch. I think he's done an incredible job, and as I look through the book, uh, I'm certainly going to leave it on my coffee table to make sure people see that books still have a relevant place in this 21st century. So thank you for inviting me.